so it is May 6th and it is the start of this insane project where today the plan is we're going to get rid of all this paneling that is in the exterior uh, load-bearing wall that supports in part the roof. Uh, we're going to strip this off completely, uh, the paneling. We already know what we're going to, we pretty much expect that this is all going to be uh, basically fencing from an old porch. So the people who did this did not do this correctly. This would be easier with the floor up. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, from the top. I think he is. Anyhow, um, so that's the pan the plan for today, and that oh, do this like is this, this is the start of the project. Oh boy! All right, so we're about an hour into it, and Mark over here is like the panel removing champ of the day. You're a machine, dude. So. Yeah, as you can see, this is um, this was once a porch, and then the person who lived here thought, hmm, rather than removing it and then building an actual wall, we're just gonna we're just gonna put some paneling up and call it a day. That's um, pro tip, not the best of ideas, because then poor schmucks like us have to correct it. You know, of course. Build actual wall. Yeah. Wait, are you saying build the wall? Actual wall. Oh god. Got more reinforcements. Hey, Dave. Hey. Hey. Mark. Nope. Nope. <laughs> say hello. Oh. <laughs> but you can also say no. Apparently, this sweetheart right here in the door jam, that was particle board? Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Particle board, guys. Don't... Don't do that. Okay. Still March 6th, approximately 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, the boys yeah, have nope. all moved into the sunroom. <laughs> They've all moved into the sunroom and they are currently taking down the ceiling. Um, this is probably like the huge problem area where a lot of the roof leak has started. Um, as you can see, this is, uh, that is rot. That is all rot. That's also rot. That is bad. So, it is also incredibly dusty in here. I can actually taste the dust. Anyhow, I'm out here and I am doing cleanup work. And I've also been removing uh, a lot of hangnails that have been out in the, I guess you want to call this the porch. That was loud. You want to, I'm calling, this is the turret, we call it the turret, although this obviously was um, once a porch. So I've been removing a lot of hangnails and then just cleaning up in here because, you know, it needs to be done. So that's what I've been doing. But yeah, um, we have most of the ceiling com now completely exposed. This place used to be green. Okay. And there was gonna, another one out here, but I don't know where it went. And we're gonna keep the track lighting in for right now, but that's also probably gonna go in a little while. Probably next weekend. Next weekend? Probably. Fair enough. <laughs> this is still the sunroom. Taken down the Where's those vice grips go? Oh, oh vice grips? On the bench next to my vice grips. Yeah, like a daisy, daisy air rifle. Yikes, and you feel.
Yeah, right up there. Yeah, I right mean, there. sure. <laughs> I feel like that just needs to like stay it's in as like a cool, good yeah. luck charm. It's like the horseshoe of this house. Absolutely. Okay, it's the end of day one of the roof remodel, and we James and I did like extensive cleaning um, after we did all the tear down. But as you can see. All the wood paneling has been removed down below in the turret section, and uh, yes, this is nothing more than just fencing. Um, a couple of friends came over today, Mark and Dave, so very much appreciate their help. And uh, actually, Mark came up with a theory that all of this once used to be a porch, as seen above. However, um, it's we're, we're kind of speculating at this point that actually this area was used as uh, sleeping quarters during the summertime, um, also known as a sleeping porch. Because apparently uh, when it would just get too hot and nobody had AC back in the day, you would just uh, sleep out here in the porch. That's the idea, that's the, the theory that we have at this point. Um, so let's see, we removed all of the paneling that is in this doorway. We decided to forego not taking down this paneling at this point because we are going to wait for the inspector to see what he has to say about over here because this is going to pose some very serious technical issues as in terms of framing and it is still unclear as to whether we can actually do the things that we want to do at this point so we're we're stopping at right here at this paneling and then in here, again, we I did some serious cleanup efforts in here because it was covered in shit. Um, took down the drywalling and much to our surprise, whoever was here last and built this actually put up a vapor barrier and they put it in the wrong direction apparently. I guess it's supposed to be on the outside. But nevertheless, they did try and then they did put up um, some fiberglass insulation, which I was very surprised by when I saw that. Um, same thing goes over here and uh, in this this corner you can really see the water damage um, from all the rain that has come through. A lot of this is wood rot and uh, you can you can see it even back here and uh, if you pull it back which I don't want to disturb it too much because we've done so much cleaning at this point, but yeah, um, you can you can definitely see it. And yeah, removed all the removed most of the ceiling, um, exposed the beams, and uh, my husband pointed out, I guess something rather. Hey James, what was uh, interesting that you saw up here? I, I still don't completely get it as to why it's weird. You want to point it out? Well, it's really weird because <laughs> this used to be fascia. Mm-hmm. And if this was fascia, what the hell is it doing going into the wall? Oh, um... It's very weird. I don't know. Good, good question. So would you call that like the wizardry of, of the day? I guess. <laughs> it's just really strange. Yeah. Hmm. Well then. How are you feeling about today, honey? Okay. Yeah? I'm a little sore. Yeah, I mean, uh, but do you feel like we've gotten done with as much as we possibly could have today? Given the time constraints and labor? We got a lot done. Yeah, I mean, I agree. I, I feel like we did get quite a bit done. Uh, Mark was kind of a machine this morning with the with all of that down there. He took almost all of the paneling out, so props to him. Um, yeah, and besides that, uh, I mean, I didn't... I felt like I didn't do too much today. I did a lot of cleanup. I did some of cleanup the is real work. cleanup is real work. My back is definitely feeling it. Um, but we did take all the wood that we can possibly salvage because I guess my father-in-law Jack would really like to have some of it. So I have a tarp. And we all of the wood in here. I don't want to expose it too much because of the rains. But, um, yeah, we just piled it up, so he can go nuts with that. The rest of the scrap heap, we've decided to actually keep it kind of tucked away in the corner. 
um, because we have simply run out of room with our two black bins that we have. So we're going to have to hold off until garbage day is Monday. Rains definitely did not help today, um, but it didn't hurt too much. It was a light rain. So the only thing I'm a little bummed about is that there is uh, some scuffing on the floor, but I don't know. James claims that we can... It's just shoe marks. It's just shoe marks, apparently. I don't know. This makes me a little sad, but because this is relatively new. All right, well... Oh yeah, and I removed a lot of the old... There was some old wiring that was just not being used, so I went ahead and uh, removed all of it in here. Just really crappy wiring.